under effects, these are where all of your um, all of your presets live. And then I showed you how to import. Now let's create one of your own. Let's do something fun and I'll show you how to save your own presets. So we were playing around a little bit with colors earlier. Maybe we should do that again. So let's just say that this is one of the common things that you, that you shoot. You do a video light um, around this time and you wanna just do some adjustments just to a video light shot and you wanna be able to save it always. So there's a couple things that are common with this. Sometimes skin, co skin tones come out a little bit red. Um, so I'm gonna go to adjustments and select that color option. And I'm gonna say with this, I typically will try and um, bring up exposure just a little bit, bring up contrast just a tad. And then I can pick the color in the sky, say that middle color there, and just bring that hue down just a little bit. Maybe I just want it to be a little bit more like blue-green. Um, I could change the luminance just to brighten it just a tad. And then uh, really fine tune that image the way that I want. So now that I have that adjustment set, now I can go up and save it as a preset. So um, I'm gonna go here and save as effect is what we're looking for there. So I'm gonna click save as effect and I'm gonna call this blue sky night. And now I have a, a preset saved for that. So when I go to the next image and I go up to effects, I have blue sky night right there. I'm gonna apply it and it did all of those adjustments. Um, I can also take her skin tone. Let's go ahead and pick up a skin tone. And I can bring that saturation down a little bit, bring the red down just a tad and I can save that as a preset, save that as effect as well. Um, and I should be able to save right over top of the other one. So now I've got that new adjustment in there. Blue Sky Night is now um, a little bit different. Let's go ahead and use it again. Blue Sky Night, perfect, looks beautiful. So now we've got these adjustments, our own adjustment set saved in here. The only other thing we need to do is maybe go into Edit Effects. Um, we can change, remove any that we don't want, organize. And you're just gonna go down here again. Um, we just want to have a new preset group and we're gonna call them my fancy presets. Mm -hmm. 